What's up? What's up? What's up? We're going to get going here. I'm glad. Jumped on here tonight, you know, midnight. But you know what? You know, uh, hard work never sleeps. You know, while the next man is sleeping, we're working. So um, I'm just waiting on a few people to come on in here. And we're going to get into it. Um, on this live, um, what I am going to talk about, we're going to get directly into how to leverage social media to drive, you know, people to your website, to your social media page and get people in, you know, into your dealership asking for you. So we are going to actually get into that, talking about that. I'm going to be willing, I'm going to be accepting questions. So make sure any questions that you have about it, I want to dig as deep into it as we possibly can. So just do me a favor. Can you hear me well? If you would, just send me, shoot me something in the chat to let me know that you can hear me okay, to make sure that the volume is good, please. All right. Hey, how you doing, Patrick? New to car sales, about six months now. Hey, I appreciate that, brother. I really do. Um, all right. Can y'all hear me okay, though? Audio's good. Thank you. Appreciate that. How you doing, Derek? All right, so let's... uh. Let's get into it here. So uh, at your store, I'm sure you all know that, you know, kind of sitting around and waiting on lot traffic, um, that can, you could kind of be at the mercy of the current when you're sitting around and you're just waiting on, you know, what comes into the store. And when I say at the mercy of the current, you know, that could be weather conditions. Um, it could be time of year. Uh, it could be seasonal or just maybe the store isn't putting a whole lot of money into advertising. A lot of times you really don't know until you know if that makes sense. So on this uh, live, I want to talk about not just how to drive, uh, you know, leads from your social media pages, but specifically some of the mistakes that people have been making and some of the things you can do where you stand out, you know, in a world full of chatter. Because first things first, let's think about it. When people jump online and they go to their social media pages, a lot of times all of that is is what I call a uh, online vacation. It's a person's way to escape from whatever's going on. If they're at their place of business, um, you know, if they're out on a date, uh, if they're sitting in an office waiting on something. For a lot of people, when they go to social media, that is a mini vacation for them. They're looking at other people's pictures. They're looking at videos, they're reading stories. It's a way for them to get away, right? So what that means is that when you know that you're gonna be sharing information or putting out invitations amongst the sea of all the other chatter going on, especially while people are on a mini vacation, you just have to make sure that what you put out is big and it makes noise and it attracts attention. It's got to, okay? So we're going to talk about some of the ways that you actually can go about getting that done. OK, let's think about it. So when folks, uh, they start working at a dealership and I have no idea why this is, but majority of people, especially I would say at the age of about 50 and down are on social media on a regular basis. OK, and as a matter of fact, people are on social media while at their place of business and they work in a dealership. I'm unable to tell you because as you probably know, uh, if you watch the videos, I am all over the country working with some of the biggest dealer groups nationwide. And I'm amazed when I walk around the sales floor and I see people that are off in a corner or on the side of the building, literally on their cell phones, checking out social media. But if you go to this person's page, guess what you don't see? Any photos of customers, any photos of vehicles, um, no short videos, doing any walk arounds or anything like that. So what I call that is wasted opportunity because if we're going to be on our phones and we're going to be so on social media anyway, we might as well just take a couple minutes and take advantage of it. It's free. It only takes a couple of minutes. And guess what? You can upload everything right from your phone almost in real time and have it up online and on your social media pages. So let's talk about how when you do post something, how to stand out in a sea of all the other chatter and whatnot that's going on. First things first, I want you to think about this with me. McDonald's and Coca-Cola, okay? These are two of the biggest companies in the world. As a matter of fact, if you point McDonald's and Coca-Cola out to a child that's three or four years old, they would be familiar with these companies. If we took McDonald's and we took the name McDonald's off the Golden Arches and we just set it up, do you know what? 
a child that's two or three years old would know that that's McDonald's. And so you have to ask yourself this, why is it or how is it that if people all over the world from Siberia to Korea to Italy, back to the US, all are familiar with McDonald's. Children two and three years old know who they are strictly by their logo. How is it and why is it that McDonald's is on our, on our TV, on our radio, and on our social media pages every hour on the hour, 365 days a year. And if you have to, you really have to think about this. If McDonald's is on your TV, on your radio, and on your social media every hour on the hour, 365 days a year, how is it that we, us as professionals, as entrepreneurs, can ever believe that we can somehow sidestep that same approach? and believe that people are just going to remember who we are and what we do. Remember, these are some of the McDonald's, one of the biggest companies best known in the world. But yet they know that 365, every hour on the hour, sometimes multiple times within the hour, they are on your TV, on your radio, or on your social media. And the reason being is because the general public, with all due respect, has a form of ADD. And when I say that, that's attention deficit disorder. And it's just because there's so much going on around us and everything is so much faster that to catch somebody's attention, you have to make sure that you have to be captivating when you grab it in everything that you do online. You have to know that. Back in the 80s, the average attention span was 20 minutes. Right now, right now, uh, studies show that the average attention span is about eight seconds. So what that means is that... Uh, the average person's attention span isn't very long. So you got to make sure that whatever you put out there on your social media pages in the form of an image, in the form of a text, in the form of a video has got to be captivating and it's got to grab your attention. And remember this one thing, people make buying decisions based off 90% emotion and back it up with 10% logic. This is why if you pay attention to start paying attention to some of the bigger companies with their social media advertising. A lot of times what you're seeing is either whiteboard drawings where as somebody's talking, there's another individual drawing things. Sometimes you see it as some type of animation. But bottom line, regardless of what you see, you see a lot of movement going on. And the videos are typically what, one minute, maybe two minutes at the longest, but they impact their punch, okay? So, Let's take you at your dealership. What happens is a lot of folks, they'll, they'll get a social media page. And now if you do have your own Facebook page and you work for a dealership, the last thing you want to do is use your actual uh, social media page, your Facebook page. And the reason being is that's your private life. And who you are in your private life, what you believe in and what you like to do is strictly your business, okay? Plus, if you're representing an organization, you know, let's just say you have the shirt on or you're this, that, and the other. And let's just say you have a political view that's different than the people that you're going to be dealing with. You don't want something like that to, to minimize your ability to be able to help them make a smart, safe buying decision. Same thing with religious views. So what you want to do is within Facebook, if you go to the home screen and you look in the bottom left hand of the page, you'll see where it says create a page. OK, so you're able to create a page from within your Facebook page. Now, when you do that, it gives you six different options. One of them is, would you like to create a business page? Is this a page for community? Is this a page, you know, but yada, yada, yada. It'll give you options on what type of a page you're creating. So remember, within your Facebook page, for those that are just chiming on, and if you're just getting in, do me a favor, seeing that we got a few people in there, hit that like button for me, please. So when you go into your Facebook page, you look to on the home screen, you look in the low, lower left-hand column, you'll see where it says create a page. So you're going to create a page from within your actual uh, Facebook account. Now, here's how you title the page, because of course you're going to create it for business, okay? Now, a big mistake that people make when they title their page, they miss out on this one thing. And this one thing is the way you should title your page should be your dealership name hyphen your name, okay? Make sure you have your dealership name first, hyphen your name. And here's why. Nine times out of 10, your dealership has been there longer than you've been working there. And on the internet, whenever you go to Google and you search something out, 
If you've ever paid attention to it, you'll do a search and you'll see where it has three options up top. And then it'll have some over on the side. And then they'll have a list of them in the middle. What those three up top and the ones on the side are, those are called paid per click advertising. That means that a company paid to position there based on that search term, okay? Now, and if you look right next to it, it'll say ad because they have to let you know that it's an ad. So next time you go to Google and you do a search, no matter what it is, look right beneath it and you'll see, you should see three options and right next to it, it'll say ad. On the far right side of the page, you'll see options too. They paid to be there, okay? Now, in the middle of the page, you'll see a listing of about 10. Those are what you call organic listing. If you haven't hit that like button, hit that like button for me, please. Um, so you'll see those are 10 in the middle of what you call organic listing. Now, what organic means, it means that their website or their blog page or their social media page was so relevant to the term that was searched for, Google will put it up at the top or within its top 10 on that first page. So let's just say you work at, uh, um, you know, uh, BTB uh, Automotive, okay? You work at BTB Automotive and, you know, you guys sell uh, luxury cars. You specialize in luxury Ferraris and Rolls Royces, okay? So on your website, all you talk about is Ferraris and Rolls Royces, Ferraris and Rolls Royces on every one of your pages. So when somebody goes and types in where to buy a Ferrari or where to buy a Rolls Royce in and type in that city name, what will happen is BTB Motors can potentially show up in that first page 10 if they have Rolls Royce or Ferrari or where to buy it and the city name within the content of their page, okay? So the reason why having your dealership name is so relevant on your social media page is because your dealership has been there for a while. And nine times out of 10, if you work at a, let's say a Ford store or a Chevy store and you typed in where to buy a Chevy in your city, you put in your city name and you look in that middle 10, if your dealership has been there for a number of years, there's a very good chance that you will see your dealership's web address right there on the first page, maybe even the second page, potentially, okay? So what that means is that that dealer web page has that keyword, which might be Ford or Chevy, in it so many times and the city that it sees it as an authority and it gives it what's called organic listing, which means they don't have to pay to be there on that first page. Where everybody else is paying, these people's content is so relevant, Google will give it to them uh, on its own, okay? So when you use your dealership name, hyphen your name, the way that that will benefit you is because as we're about to discuss, when you're making your post, you're always going to include your dealership name, the brand you represent, also your city in every single post, your dealership name, the brand, and the city. And what happens is as your social media page or your blog page becomes just overloaded with always having these potential, these particular keywords in it, as time progresses, Google will see you as an authority, and guess what? Your social media page, your blog site, your YouTube channel, your Instagram account could become an authority and get that organic listing, okay? So when you create your page, remember, you create your page from within your social media um, profile. You go to the home screen, you choose create a page. You go on over and you name the page you choose for business. And then your dealership, your, your social media page, your Facebook page name should be your dealership hyphen your name. Now, once you create that page, it's going to ask you for a short bio. Your social media page bio has got to show that you are a human being. So saying things like uh, super spectacular, automotive, knowledge, knowledgeable and technical and blah, blah, blah. Nobody cares about that. But if you're an outgoing, genuine person that just enjoys uh, helping these, I mean, helping families to be able to make a smart, safe buying decision and enjoy the vehicle that best suits them and their family. Now, when you post that as your bio, as who you are, not what you do, because a bio talks about who you are. Okay. Your bio doesn't have to be uh, 
over 12 years of automotive sales experience and blah, blah, blah. No person as a potential customer gives a shit about that at all. But everybody wants to deal with somebody that's outgoing, that's genuine, that enjoys helping families, you know, find a vehicle and make a smart, safe buying decision and start enjoying the vehicle as quickly as possible. Everybody wants to deal with somebody that's genuine and outgoing and enjoys helping other people. OK, so when you create your page, when you get that bio, remember that every lead, every person that's going to be coming there. This is their snapshot of us. This is our online business card. This is our opportunity to make that first impression. And you know what they say? You only get one chance to make a first impression. Now, your profile pic on your social media page. Now, if you work at a particular dealership and you have a brand, you know what? You should take your number one selling vehicle and make that your big profile page picture. And then, you know, they have the other little self picture. It should be you in your dealership shirt, okay? Representing your brand. Here's the cool thing about it. Because even if you go to another store, even if you ship to another store, all you have to do is change the profile pic. Do me a favor. Let's hit the like button. Look like lights went down one. That's 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 interesting. But do me a favor. We got y'all in here. I appreciate y'all coming out. We want to make sure we get as many people in our business involved in this. I see we got some stuff uh, 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 coming in. I'm going to get some of these questions. I see you, King West and uh, Casey Stark. Um, you know, so... Making sure that your, your profile by I mean your profile page bio for your dealer page talks about who you are, not what you do. Make sure your picture represents uh you know one the number one seller, not the most expensive vehicle on your lot. Because at the end of the day, remember, we do live in a time where people want to make sure they're getting the best bang for the buck. And so the biggest thing is to make sure that they feel comfortable when they visit our page. So put your number one seller or one of your more common selling vehicles up there. And remember, for your profile pic, takes a nice pic inside your dealer shirt, okay? Now, once you got the page up, what it'll do, it'll tell you, hey, let all my friends in my network know I just created a page, okay? So now you can go ahead and it notifies everybody within your network that you have a page, okay? So once they do, they have the option to like the page. So once they like your new business profile page for your dealership, Every time you post something on it, everyone who liked it will be notified. Another very smart thing to do is when you do add posts to your dealer page, you can actually share them to your main profile page. And so guess what? You're not necessarily sending your customers to your personal profile page, but you are taking your business to your personal contacts on your personal profile page, if that makes sense. So any new people you got coming in will go to your dealer page. But all of these people that are in your personal network, because remember, we want we don't want to drive our customers, our potential customers, any leads we get to our personal page because we don't know if our views match and we don't want that coming in between anything. But whenever we post something on our dealer page, you should definitely share to your personal page because these people drive vehicles too. And if they trust you and they like you as much as they say they do, they will at least be willing, they may be willing to give you the opportunity to help. Them. But a lot of times people don't even know that that's what we do if we're not constantly letting them know. Remember, McDonald's is on your TV, your radio, your social media, every hour on the hour, 365 days a year, okay? So you create your social media page, you got it going on, you sent it out, people are liking it. Now it's time to post. Now, one of the things I see people do, they'll put up one post and if it doesn't drive in a ton of business, they'll say, oh, I knew it doesn't work. But remember the McDonald's approach. People all over the world know who McDonald's is. Kids two years old know McDonald's without the name on it. But yet they're on our TV and on our radio every hour on the hour, 365 days a year. So if McDonald's being one of the most popular companies in the world does it. We have to somewhat take that approach. And so what that means is that your social media page should have five to 10, and I'm being very minimal, five to 10 host or short video clips from you every single week. And that's being minimal. That's just for starter, okay? So let's start off with 10. That's two every five days. Two, five days. Now let's talk about what type of posts work really well 
with gaining people's attention. Because if you just get on there and you start saying, come buy for me, come buy for me, come buy for me, you know what they'll consider that? Spam. And you'll be tuned out. Matter of fact, you'll get unfriended. And that'll be on Instagram, Facebook, or even YouTube, which we're going to talk about here in a little bit. But you don't want to come on saying, buy for me, buy for me, buy for me. The thing that generates interest in your social media post, in every case where people are willing to, to listen or to watch or to read, it comes from you sharing valuable content and information. I mean, let's think about it. The only reason that you are here, you and I are here together right now, is because you've been on other videos that I've posted. You've either downloaded books or you've attended trainings that I've had. You know, because real recognize real, you know, okay, this information he's sharing, I can feel it. It works. I see other people's comments. I see other people's reviews on the stuff. It works because if it was bullshit, you wouldn't even be here. But guess how you found it? Through social media outlets. So if I would have just had one video up or one post up on any of the sites, guess what? We wouldn't, you and I wouldn't be here. But it's through being consistent and always delivering valuable content that helps other people. So let's think about how you could do that for your guests at your dealership. Imagine if you promote, let's say, Chevy or Mercedes or Ford or Nissan or Kia or whatever. Imagine if you looked up things like, uh, you know, maintenance tips. And at least two to three times a week, what you did was share the post of a maintenance tip. Or you did a one or a two minute video just sharing that maintenance tip standing in front of a particular vehicle, a make or a model. So you're sharing a maintenance tip on a particular make or model of a vehicle that you got directly from the manufacturer's website, okay? So what you did, you did research and homework for this people, for this person. And you're taking the time to either take a picture and type up a post, or to shoot a quick video, and video always works much better, sharing what you learned, which is a maintenance tip with other people on this vehicle. You talk about customer service at its best, at its best, and you're not asking for anything in return because you genuinely want to share with them. Now, what ends up happening is that when you're known for sharing helpful content, when you're known for sharing information that actually helps other people, You'll see other people will gravitate looking for what's the newest thing you have up because what you've been sharing helps them. It works. And when it helps them and it works, they trust. And when people trust, that is finally when there can be a good exchange, people doing solid commerce. A person saying, you know, I want quality information that can benefit me for the rest of my life. And in exchange for that, I'm willing to make an investment so other people can continue to benefit from it just like I have. That's what this is all about. And so when you're giving a valuable content, whether it be maintenance tips, whether it be, uh, um, uh, you know, the, the certain things about features that they may or may not know that you could point out, little things that you pick up when you say, hey, listen, one of the things that I want to share with you, you may already know about this is blah, blah, blah. And it may be something they already know about. But guess what? It's you again sharing information on a one or a two minute video that cost you no money to make, just a little bit of a few minutes to shoot that you can put it up on your social media page because you want people to see you as the go to person when it's time to buy. Let me explain this to you. I still have people to this day that reach out to me telling me that they're looking to buy a vehicle. Why? Because years ago, when we established that trust, when we got, when we developed that rapport and I was able to help them make that smart safe buying decision, either one time or for a number of years, helped other family members. Now they trust me to where when I point them to a specific place to go, they go. And guess what? It's easy for them because they're not going in playing the game. They're going in as a person saying, listen, I totally get what has to happen. I have to help you be able to do what you need to do to help me. They get it. But that came from dealing with somebody who was patient, who took the time to help people buy rather than trying to sell them, okay? So when it comes to your social media, you wanna become the go-to person and you wanna start that off by sharing helpful information. So the way that your post should go, it should be five to one. 
meaning you want to do five posts where you're sharing good information. And then on that one, I mean, on all of the videos where you're sharing information, you always want to have an invitation saying, hey, listen, if you're in the area, stop on in, say hello. Let me see what I can do to help. You always want to throw that out there. But then for every five videos, you want to have one where you really are letting people know, hey, listen, good credit, bad credit, no problem. Come and see me. I'm here at the dealership today. I'll be here all week. My goal is to help you and your or you and your family enjoy whatever it is you feel works best. You know, whatever it is you're going to say, but you want to make sure it's heartfelt. You want to make sure it's genuine. You want to make sure you're right there at your dealership and you want to share it. Put it up. Hope Share that thing. So typing things out is cool, but you don't want to do a book. If you end up typing something, remember, attention is like eight seconds now, which is why videos are really good. So if you want to share something you typed up, make sure it's short to the sweet. I mean, short and to the point and that, you know, whatever the benefit is, you want to make sure you put that into your first two sentences. Because people nowadays, if it looks like too much to read, they're going to skip straight over it. OK, they'll skip. Think about yourself. How many times have you gone to a post or seen something and it looked like it was a whole lot to read? You kind of skip over it. But if it's a video, we'll tend to watch it. OK, so make sure you keep that in mind. Doing the short videos, it don't matter whether you have Android or iPhone. You can shoot the video up, boom, goes right up online, put you a quick description on there, and you're good to go. You know, and the one thing is even on and on Facebook when you're doing posts, remember, still use hashtags. If you're not familiar with hashtags are, hashtags are, you know, keywords that anything that's relevant to this particular hashtag word or that has this hashtag word, you want to be able to generate some of that traffic. So let's just say if you're doing a Facebook post and it's describing a Toyota, if you do hashtag Toyota cares, hashtag we love Toyotas, or hashtag Toyota, hashtag your dealership, everything, anytime somebody uses that, anytime somebody searches for that hashtag and anything relevant to that, you'll be able to get redirected visitors to your post, it'll get more exposure to everybody who has something relevant to that particular hashtag on their page, um, you know, with them. So please make sure you take advantage of having that phone and utilizing it, doing a quick two minute walk around of a vehicle. If you get a nice pre-owned vehicle on the lot, and let's just say it's a spiff car where the dealership is going to be giving you something for it. Man, if you want to get the jump on everybody, make sure you get out there and do that video. Now, if you're somebody that has minimal friends, do not fear, okay? Because you can actually build your page up where the people that are coming to your page that are looking to be friends with you are relevant to what it is you do, meaning they're potential customers. But guess who's a potential customer? Everybody. So there is nothing wrong, especially if you're new to an area and you're working at a dealership. There is absolutely nothing wrong if you go on there and you type in your particular city. OK, and then you just start, you know, becoming friends with people and they have to choose whether they're going to friend you back. And when that happens, the last thing you want to do is start posting all this stuff about buy now, buy now, buy now, buy now. Again, it goes back to share quality content and information on your business page or on your personal page, because the more people you have on your personal page, when you create your business page and you notify them the more people are notified, okay? So we talk about doing a short video and making sure that whenever you post a video or a picture or even you type text, use hashtags. Hashtags are keywords that, you're, that are relevant to your article and other people that, have re that are looking for or searching for these particular hashtags, other resources that have similar hashtags like these, your information will be shown to those people that are searching for that information too. So it just opens the game up for you, okay? In a major, in a major way. So now, now that you're on Facebook, and let's just say you do a good post, you shoot a nice video, you got a nice picture, you're putting that all up there, okay? You're ready to rock and roll. Now it is, and, and let's just say you don't have a whole lot of friends in your network, okay? So now you got a good post, you took a real nice video where you did a one or a two minute video doing a walk around, on a new pre-owned vehicle you got in or on one of your new vehicles or you know you're just giving a dealership tour or you did a one or two minute video where you're sharing a tip 
Maybe it's a maintenance tip. Um, just any type of thing that's going to help people. You know, you share this, you share this video. You got it. It's nice. You're ready to rock it. But you want to get it out to as many people as you can. Now, there's a number of ways you could do that. Number one, I'm pretty sure if you look at your Facebook page and you look down after you make a post, you'll see the little option that says boost post. Now, what that means is that on Facebook, for as little as $20, you can boost your post to be shown in front of, you know, potentially thousands of people just with the click of a button and a $20 investment. Now, here's the thing about when you boost the post too, you know, you can target, you know, kind of who your demographic is. You want men, women, all men, all women. Um, you want ages between 35 and 45. You want them to have an interest in whatever the particular brand that you have. And they live in a certain zip code. Man, these are some of the things you can do with Facebook ads. Now, when you're boosting a post, though, the post will boost to the people within your network and your extended networks. OK, so with Facebook ads, you can chisel it down when you boost a post. It just exposes it to as many people as it can in your network and in other people's networks. Now, the reason why boosting a post is so can be good. A is 20 bucks. It's 20 bucks. OK, it's not very much. And you still get options to choose, you know, who it gets in front of. So for a $20 investment, your post can go from seeing maybe the two or 300 in your personal friends network to be in front of two or 3,000 of people who have a, an interest to what it is that you got going on. $20. Now, when you do Facebook ads, that to me is just the creme de la creme because it really allows you to get so laser focused where you could choose what part of the country you want to target specific zip code, um, you want to do a particular gender, male or female, um, you want to do a certain age, you want to do a income bracket. You also can choose what interest, what job um, do they have or do they, you know, or what are they interested in or what type of job they have to promote your stuff in front of them. So if you work at a Chrysler store, guess what? You would look for people, men and women, let's say between the ages of 25 and 45, who have an interest in, and instead of just Chrysler, you would be job, you would be uh, specific, Chrysler 300, or it might be the Dodge Ram 1500, or, you know, whatever it is, you know, you want to make sure that you choose the interest and then be as specific as you possibly can about the make and the model, okay? That way, boom, that's targeted. Or if you do just want to go with Chrysler, or if you do just want to go with Jeep, or you do just want to go with Dodge. You can actually go with all of them. They have an interest in these particular ones. Now, when your ad goes up, guess what? It goes right in front of the men and women between the ages of 25 and 45 that live within a specific zip code, okay, who have an interest in Chrysler, G, Dodge, Ram. Who it doesn't get any more targeted than that, okay? And so if you wonder how some of these folks, you know, get online and they start generating business and leads for themselves and they're getting money and whatnot, it's because they have learned how to leverage Facebook ads. Now, let me warn you, a lot of people try to jump on Facebook and set up Facebook ads on their own because you have to link your credit card to it. And I will tell you, they have been obliterated. They've wasted thousands of dollars within a couple of hours strictly because they didn't know how to set it up the right way. So if you're going to get involved, like boost in a post, you pay the 20 bucks and that goes out. But with Facebook ads, you really have to know how to set that up the right way, because if you set it up the incorrect way, it can cost you. You know, I know I myself over the years have spent thousands and thousands of dollars learning, you know, how to utilize it. And then finally, we got the system down to the point where it's the science. But that was a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of effort. And that's the last thing I want you to do. So if you jump that route to go through Facebook ads, make sure that you study, make sure that you learn, make sure that you this not shouldn't be a trial and error thing. You know, Sir Isaac Newton said it best. If I see further than others because I stood on the shoulders of giants and they say only a fool will learn from the own experience. A wise person will learn from the experience of others. So be careful when it comes to that. So Facebook ads really allows you to be extremely targeted in your posting when you throw them up. Now, when you put these up, Facebook analytics is very important because Facebook analytics will let you know where people are coming from, what it is that, that triggered these people. 
okay? And to give you a good idea of what type of traffic you will be generating, Facebook even gives you a, uh, a rough estimate of exactly how many people your information will be put in front of based on your bid. Now, what a bid is on Facebook ads, what it allows you to do is set a bid price or a pay per click or a cost per click, CPC, cost per click price. So that would be what your minimum amount you are willing to pay. If somebody clicks on your Facebook post, you put that there, okay? But it's called a CPC cost per click. Now, they also have a CPI, and that's cost per impression. Now, what that means is that every time your ad is shown in front of somebody, you get charged, okay? Now, CPC, cost per click, means every time somebody click on your Facebook post, that's what you pay. That's what you're willing to pay. CPI, cost per impression, means that every time somebody looks at it, you pay. Now, in the beginning, as I was stating before, doing Facebook, setting it up the wrong way, really advertising online with any social media platform where you have to put in your credit card and set bids and whatnot. If you don't know what you're doing, it will cost you thousands of dollars. And you want to never allow, because Facebook will say, allow us to set your bid price for you so we can get you maximum exposure. No, what they're saying is allow us to set your bid price so at the most expensive times of the day, we're going to boost your bid price up so you can stay on the front page. No, there is a tried and true proven system that if you set your bids in a certain way and do this a certain way, now, not only will you be more consistent, but you'll have much higher quality of uh, information and leads coming through. OK, so make sure that you keep that in mind. Never allow Facebook or any social site to set your bid price for you. Remember what your bid price is, is the amount you are willing to pay either per click, which is CPC, cost per click, or CPI, per impression, where it's all about the visual. Never do that. So you want to set those up. So you got your beer price. You want to make sure with your beer price that stay within your budget. And you want to do what's called split testing. So what that means is that if you have one post that you think is good and it's going to go out, you know, and you create and you have another one or maybe you create another. One, see which one performs the best by setting, you know, you know, kind of modest bids on them but just monitoring them as they go out and see what type of results they get back, okay? You wanna make sure that you're doing this. Um, it's, a, it's extremely important because at the end of the day, you only know what you don't know what you don't know. So we're doing split testing because you, if you may have one and you think it's whamming, but then there's another version you have that actually yields a much better result from what's going on, okay? So I highly encourage you to do split testing until you go off, get it all figured out and it generates the results for you. So once you've got that set up, you got either your split testing going or you're just rocking with one, you got your bid price set, and you've got your keywords chosen, okay? Now, your keywords, again, are words that are relevant to the post that you're gonna be throwing up. Because again, these social media sites, the only way they maintain credibility is by making sure, okay, if I'm in the automotive industry and this is relevant to uh, Toyotas, I want to make sure that my information is only being shown to people who have a slight to high interest or moderate to high interest in Toyota. That's it. I don't want to be in front of Ford people if I know that I'm in Toyota and vice versa, okay? And so it's very big on targeting so your keywords. You want to make sure that your keywords, again, that they are your actual brand, that it is your dealership name. And you always want to put in there where to buy a and whatever your particular brand is as what's called a long tail keyword. A short tail keyword or a regular keyword would be Toyota, Ford. Very generic and very broad, okay? So what will happen is you may get people who are looking for Toyota parts as opposed to Toyota vehicles that are clicking on your ads and that's not what you want. You want people who have an interest in maybe buying a Toyota in a perfect world to be clicking on that ad. So that means the, the more targeted it is, meaning the longer 
the specific and you know the more specific it is and the longer it is the more targeted it is so you're using what's called a keyword phrase a long tail keyword phrase so where to buy mercedes in mercedes benz in jacksonville okay that is what you call a long term a long tail keyword phrase that is far more specific and targeted and you know what the only things that will come up are sites that are concerned with where to buy a mercedes benz in jacksonville far more relevant okay so you want to learn the difference between your keywords because like you want to avoid it being generic where it's one or two words where it could be anything but things like buy a uh, Ford F-150 in whatever your city is. Buy Ford F-150 in whatever your county is. You know what I'm saying? You want to be creative with that. Using that long tail keyword phrase, buy in your city, you know, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so once you got your, your keywords up there, you got your bid price, your post has already been ready, you got your targeted audience and whatnot, you are ready to go. Now you want to just go ahead and throw it up and you want to just make sure you track the analytics. You want to look at how many people typically visit your post versus how many people click the post. And do me a favor, hit the like button. We want to make sure we keep sharing this information. If you think what I'm, what I'm sharing is good, do me a solid. Please let me know by hitting the like button or shoot me a, a comment because I'm going to get to the questions over here in a second. But, um, you know, you really have to, to, you have to really think about that when it comes to what you're advertising on social media. So we got everything ready to go. We got it up. We want to mount it to the analytics. You want to know how many people went to the post versus how many people click. Okay. That's a view to click ratio. And that'll let you know, okay, in order for me to get X, Y, Z people to click on this, to go over to this page or to this site or to this blog, I need this many people there. Okay. And then from the amount of people that visited the site, the blog or whatever it is, the number of, you know, whatever the next step is, if it is a sale, the number of sales you get, get now you have a you have data. So now you know, okay, if XYZ number of people view my post, then XYZ number of people are gonna click my post and go over to the site. And if XYZ number of people go to the site, this number of people sets an appointment or buy or whatever it is, downloads it, whatever it is, but it gives you data. And that's what you want is the data. So many people have no data. They just don't post up and they never look at the analytics behind it. And many times the analytics will tell you so much that you may have missed out. All right. So now you're checking your analytics. Now, the key thing is this. Whenever somebody posts a comment on your post, you have to be reactionary. You have to jump in and respond to them as quickly as possible on the Internet right now. It's called social media for a reason. It's there for us to be social. And that's why, you know, doing live videos like this, do you realize how many people tell me that these type of live video is what gives anybody that they've been listening to the credibility that they need to be able to do business with them or listen to them or follow them? Because a lot of people hide behind that camera and they sit up in an office um, or in some bedroom somewhere and they just spitting it out. Who knows how many times they edited that stuff. But to come live, be direct and show you, yes, you see me all over the country training and doing my thing, speaking at conferences, colleges, got my best-selling books out, all of that. But I'm also a real person that would jump down in the trenches and share with you what I know. And look, man, guess what this says about you? It's after midnight on the East Coast, and you're online right now, rocking out, learning how to get better. You are an uncommon breed, and you have to know that. And it's not a mistake that you hear right now, that you're on here with all these other go-getters that are on here right now. It's not a mistake. You're here for a reason. So make sure that you listen and that you are listening, taking some notes to pick up on this stuff so you can leverage it and use it, all right? So now we talked about social media. So we got it up and we want to make sure we're paying attention to the analytics. Now with it, you have to be somewhat patient, especially if you're doing it on your own. Because it could, like I stated before, it could take you a long time and it could take you quite a bit of money before you get it right, okay? Unless you learn how to do it. Now, those are the paid ways, boost your posts and also on Facebook ads. Now, let's just say you say, Brian, man, I don't want to go either one of those ways. What's something that I could do on my own that doesn't require that? Can you make it happen on your own as far as with, without doing the boost or the Facebook ads? Yes. But I would let you know 
that, man, 10 to 15 posts every week. Think about this. Every guest that you help buy a vehicle, if you aren't doing this already, you should take a picture of them with their vehicle and with you with them in front of their new pre-owned or new vehicle. And guess what photos you share? Both of them online. And here's why. What is the one thing everybody likes to do when they get a new vehicle? Show it off. And so guess what you're doing? You're actually helping them to be able to show off their, to be a show off without actually showing off. So imagine you got the picture of them in, in front of their new vehicle and with you there. Okay. Now you post both of those up to your Facebook page and you tag your customer in it. Now here's where, and then the tag, you know, in the post is, hey, congratulations to Steve and, 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 and Barbara. We appreciate you coming in and we're grateful that you are now a member of the ABC dealership family. If there's anything, anything that you need, I am one phone call, one text, one email away from doing everything I can to help you. Again, thank you and all the best. Jay, now you post that up there with the pictures of them with their new vehicle. You know what other people are doing? Other people are saying, my goodness. You know, when I went and bought a vehicle, nobody did that for me. That's one thing. And if you believe they're not thinking that, do you know how many people that I've spoken with, at customers that have said they went and bought from a specific store because they saw on their relatives or on their friend's social media page that they rang a bell. Everybody cheered for them. That salesperson took a picture with them. It made them feel awesome. And that's what we all want at the end of the day is to feel important. And so when you post these things up and you say congratulations, you will see a family member or a friend or somebody say, oh, man, did you just buy that? And you must know it is absolutely OK. Matter of fact, it is required that you jump into that doggone conversation because you'll get notified of any comments and respond to them. Hey, doesn't it look awesome? Oh, my goodness. We had an awesome time together the other night. You know, are, are you, you know, interested or are you looking for an addition to your family? Something like that. You engage them in the conversation. It's called social media for a reason. And you'd be amazed how much dialogue will go back and forth because guess what? You've got your greatest testimonial right there on the page. That's their friend or their family member who they know and trust, whose picture is up there with you, which means obviously they allowed you to help them make that smart, safe buying decision. And if they like, love, or trust their friend and they believe them to be intelligent and trustworthy and credible and they were willing to do business with you, guess what that makes you? Trustworthy, honest, and credible, okay? So we have to learn how to make sure we're capturing the images of our customers or we're taking a short video, it should be one minute or less of us with our guests. You might snap the picture and do the one minute video. So that way the one minute video can go to your Instagram page showing another happy customer with the text. It can go to your Facebook page or the picture, or you could put the picture and the video right there next to each other. As you can see what I'm saying, the opportunities and the possibilities are endless with this thing, but it requires consistency. And it does take some time, but if you keep at it, people will continue to grow. You'll continue to build. And if you keep your dealership name, your brand, and your city in every single post you do, eventually, when we spoke about that organic listing on Google earlier, guess what? Your Facebook page could end up there because Facebook is considered one of the most powerful websites online. So any information, any page that is content rich will get much higher Google ranking just by being on the Facebook platform. And that may make sense to you or it may not. If it doesn't, um, you really want to dig into this stuff because social media and promoting yourself, it is very simple. But at the same time, if done wrong, it could be extremely costly and very challenging, catastrophic to the business. So you want to make sure you have a roadmap, you have a guide, because it can literally, can you imagine if for free, just from a few posts up, you were able to close one deal every month that made you an extra $500? One deal that you wouldn't have got any other way besides through social media that didn't cost you a dime, but brings you $500 every month or $6,000 a year. Man, that's mind blowing when you really think about it. And guess what? It can really do that if, if you know how.
Okay. Um, I don't want to keep everybody super duper long. I wanted to touch on Facebook. I'm going to get through some of these questions though, real quick. Um, oh, and real quick while I got you on. Okay. Um, we was going through the Facebook stuff. And again, you and I both know probably listening to it. You probably like, Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And if you've been to my website, like I know a lot of you on here have, if you've been to my website, you'll see that actually what I do as I do have the complete Facebook, it's called How to Drive Facebook Ads. It is 10 videos, um, two hours of audio. It has the Facebook Drive Facebook Ads checklist. It has the manual. Um, it's one of these programs that have really helped people that had no idea of how to set up, how to boost their posts, and how to drive leads to their social media page or to their dealer page, and it's really boosted them up. It has really helped them. It takes them from A to Z. So that is available to you. Um, if you look on my website, uh, you'll realize that that program actually sells for $997, okay? But uh, obviously, knowing that you're on here, you're not going to have to pay $997. I promise you that. What I will do for you, because again, you people see me all over the place. I'm traveling and training at all times. And one thing people always say is, when are you going to come to my dealership? And I wish I could be at everybody. Or when you're going to speak at our conference, or I wish I could be at everybody, but I'm unable to. And so what I've done, though, I've taken my nearly 20 years of information that I actually travel, train, and share, and I actually compressed it and bottled it up, and I put it into a number of files, and I've made it available. Now, the Facebook, how to drive Facebook ads training, you know, that typically is sales on my site for $997. But tonight, if you're somebody that wants to get started setting up your Facebook, and if you're serious saying, Brian, look, I know I need to drive leads to my to my doggone dealership. I know the possibility is there. I've been just doing posts. I want to know how to get it done as quickly and profitable as possible. Tonight, what I'm going to do is the, the how to drive Facebook ads is available to you at a fraction, at a fraction of the actual uh, investment of what it is. So it'll only be $97 tonight. And what I'm about to do, I am going to post the link for it right here real quick. Hold on. I'm going to post the link for it real fast. Uh, you still there? Yep, right there. Hold on. Let me get this link for you and I'll post it. That way you at least know exactly what it is. So if you decide that, hey, you don't want to do it, that's totally fine. I get it. Uh, let me see here. Uh, let me go here. And I'm going to put the link up really quick. So I'm going to share the actual link. So not only do you get the How to Drive Facebook ads for $97, what you also get is the complete How to Dominate at the Dealership online automotive sales training program. If you've been at your store and you know you've never received training and all you wanted was for somebody to not just show you what to do, give you the insight on what to say, but explain to you why it's important that you do this and how it's beneficial. You don't have to worry anymore because tonight when you go and you download the how to drive, drive, uh, drive Facebook leads, uh, entire, you know, program with the 10 hours of video and the two hours of audio and the manuals and the checklist, you also get the how to dominate at the dealership online automotive sales training program that comes complete with the five part audio program which takes you through the entire road to the sale, but not just the road. It actually breaks down every step. If you believe that what you've been getting from these YouTube videos have been something, imagine what will happen when you really dig deep into the actual online training. You have the five-part audio program. You also have the 10 videos that come with it, over four hours of video. You also have the online sales training manual. So anything you need to reference, and that's everything from the word track for the greeting. When you sit somebody down, not just using an information sheet, but what questions do you actually ask to help you break the ice, to help you establish good communication and conversation that allows this person to share with you exactly what's going on so you can help them make that smart say buying decision? Many of us just get trapped. That's in there. It lays out how to do a dynamic walk around because that's where a lot of people drop the ball. That's where the money is lost. And there was truly a way for you to present like a pro. And it lays out the step by step on where to start, how to start it and what to do to be able to get people when you present that vehicle to them and you're showing it to them. Bam, you are wowing them. You're doing a dynamic, powerful presentation. It goes through that. It even lays out 
when certain objections included in this. If somebody says they want to think about it, they want to talk to their spouse, they want to shop around, the price is too high, they want more for their trade. There are literally over 40 word tracks available to help you overcome these objections. If you've ever been stumped by that before, never again do you have to go through that. If you've ever been in a situation where a customer hit you with an objection and you just were unfamiliar with it, never again do you have to go through that. If you've ever wondered, what am I doing wrong? And how is it I could be more consistent with myself? How can I hold more gross instead of giving it away? You never have to worry about that again because tonight at a fraction of the actual program cost, which is $9.97 for how to drive Facebook leads, when you add tonight, you actually get the how to dominate at the dealership online automotive sales training program, okay? And that, that is worth over $700. You get that included absolutely for free, but you also get the 100 success tips online training program, which is 10 hours of video, which give you 100 success tips to help you stay motivated and driven while at your dealership. You also get that included in the program, but that's not it because you also get the online traffic surge. You get that online program, the audio and the video, over two hours of video, which also takes you through how to leverage your Snapchats and Instagram. But all that's included. But you also get the Dominate on YouTube ebook that is also included in that. So you get the How to Drive Facebook leads, uh, online audio and videos, okay? Over five hours of audio and video. You also get the dominated at the dealership. You get the entire five-part audio program. You get the sales training manual. You get the word tracks. You also get the, uh, the prospect, how to uh, do cold calling effectively and get people on the phone. How to send a good email that gets a return. How to leave a voicemail that gets a guest to call you back. All of these things are included and compressed in the dominated the dealership. But you also get the 100 success tips with over 10 videos to help you stay motivated, focused, determined to achieve your goal, hit your numbers, and increase your commissions every single month. You also get the online traffic surge. You also get over 40 word tracks dealing with, I want to think about it. I want to talk to my spouse. I want more for my trade. The price is too high. I want to shop around. It's all included. You also get the Dominate YouTube ebook. So really, I want you to stop for a second and realize that information that people spend a thousand dollars for that's available for a thousand dollars on my site that dealerships pay me tens of thousands to come into their dealership and train on you can have access to the digital information downloadable instantly for a fraction of that investment for only 97 dollars oh and the kicker is this you also get a 90 day money back guarantee which means that over the next 90 days, if you don't feel like it's helped your skills, you've done everything required in it, and you don't feel like it's helped your skills or helped your money, helped you make more money, you know what? You'll get a refund, okay? That is how committed I am to you and how confident I am in it, okay? So let me get this link for you. Let me post this link. And then that way, you can at least go check it out, and I'll let you be the judge of it. But I'll tell you one thing. Out of every single person. Oh, and let me make sure you top it off. Also, on top of that, if you, when you download it tonight, this is only available tonight. To those of you that are watching this video, if you download it tonight, it's only $97. You also get a 30 minute strategy call with myself. You download it tonight, you'll get an email from myself or a member of my team tomorrow. And what we'll be doing, we'll scheduling, getting the best time and the best contact number from you. And what you and I are doing, I'll reach out and you and I are going to spend some time together on the phone, taking the information from the program and setting up a strategy session for you and with you. So this isn't just you downloaded and I'm gone. You and I are actually going to connect one on one on the level and we're going to put some hustle behind that muscle and help you achieve exactly what you're looking for. So let me let me get this page for you real quick and I'll share the link. And then that way you can go on over you tell me what you think, and based on that, you will have everything that you need. Let me make sure I got the right one. Uh, not that one. I'm still here. I'm just getting the link for y'all. Thank you for being patient. 
as you can see, this is totally off the cuff because I wasn't even going to share the link. But one thing I always think about, which is, man, you know, um, if, if this information is helping people, who am I to, uh, to, to not share it with you all, especially with so many other people that are saying how much they enjoy it. So hold on one second, one second. I'm almost there. I just want to make sure I got it right and get it over and share it with you. But let's see some comments. I'm going to be answering some questions as soon as I snap, flip back over. Anybody that's just joining on, I'm just getting a, getting a link to share with everybody. Okay, here we go. Special offer link. And remember, you when you get down tonight, you and I will schedule. Oh. On your link. Let's see. Oops. Let me post this up. Here's the special offer. And let's see, man. There we go. We got it up. All right. Oh, did I get an error? Let me just do the link then. Hmm. Edit and try again. Uh, let me just do this then. Uh, I'll take the actual link and let's see if it'll let me do that. Because it might not be, it's giving me an issue with the link. Uh, uh. There we go. All right. All right, I just shared the link. Now, like I said, tonight when you go over, once you go ahead and you uh, download, you're going to receive an email. Now, let me explain this to you. When you go download, okay, if you can use a desktop or a laptop computer, you can use your phone, all right? Just make sure that you have a zip file opener. It is totally free because it is so many hours of audio and video that to be compressed in a zip file. And you'll see, once you open it up, you're going to be like most people and say, oh my goodness, I had no idea that this is what I was getting is so much. I'd rather under promise and over deliver, okay? So make sure you have a zip file opener um, and you want to go ahead. So. Let's go ahead and let's go through some of these questions. You got King West. I, I need lead to up my game or I will quit. I'm tired of selling under my own expectation. King West, I totally get it, man. Um, if you know that you're selling under your expectation, then what you do have to do is you have to really key in on becoming, you know, your own. Realize this one thing. You run a business within a business, okay? You run a business within a business. And what is it that every business needs is customer, all right? And so if you aren't already focused on generating your own leads, you should. Now, I know if it was that easy, everybody would just turn on the spigot and have leads flowing, flowing to them. This is why, to save you a whole lot of time, energy, and money, I've taken years and the thousands upon thousands of dollars that had to be invested to learn how to put this together and how to get it up and running which is why I made how to drive Facebook leads, you know, available to everyone on this live um, stream right now for just a fraction, a 10th of what it costs. It sells for $997 on, online, but it's available tonight for $97 with the dominate at the dealership program. that again, has hours of video, the, the online traffic search, the 100 success tips. And not only that, but the strategy sets it with myself, King West, because if there is no one grabbing you by the hand, and say, hey, listen, I'm going to take you with me, then yeah, shame on them. And at the end of the day, one thing I always say is, how can we ever expect other people to invest in us when we're unwilling to invest in ourselves? And you must realize the only thing that separates myself from when I was the guy that was selling at the dealership kicking ass to being a guy that's traveling all around the country kicking ass is what I was willing to invest in my mind which means that I had to invest time in reading. I had to invest money in learning from people who knew what they were doing and had aspired to be somewhere I was trying to be. I always ask people this. I say, would you rather listen to the person that's working next to you at your dealership selling with you? Or would you rather listen to the person that sold their way out of the dealership? Okay. So once you go and you download the program, after you get through it, PayPal, it will redirect you to a page where you must enter your name and your email address. And once you do that, you'll be sent to your download page where you can download your product, but make sure 
you have the zip file opener. It's free for your phone or for your laptop. Zip file opener. It's totally free. And get started. And then, like I say, tomorrow you'll get the email and you'll get the contact, the invitation, the schedule of time for us to speak. But King West, in order to step up the game, then why don't you work before you give up on yourself or on that? Give me an opportunity to work with you. Go ahead, jump on over, and let's get started. And if you give me just 90 days, 90 days, I assure you, I can help you turn that frown upside down and show you just how lucrative this business can be. All right? Casey Star, sir, uh, being as transparent as possible is what customer wants. Information is so easily accessible now. I right, give myself a to watch the video. Thank you. I appreciate that, good sir. Alex Ken, good material. Thanks. I appreciate that, Alex. That's what's up. Connect with the customers. You doggone straight. Yep, Casey Stir. I eventually feel it will get to the point when being as clear as possible will be the only way. It eliminates the customer thinking about where is the cat. Exactly. Why more people don't get that, I don't know. It's kind of like when somebody's presenting the numbers and they still want to put their hand on everything over there to the side. As if that intelligent human being did not see all of those numbers over there. And now by us putting our hand there trying to hide it, guess what we've just done? Shine light on it. You see, the game is chess, not checkers. And the way and the methods in which people would interact with customers, it is so old and played out. And that truly is a new style. There's a new way that's far more effective than any of that stuff. Most managers are teaching their people at dealership. And you know what the new style is? Treat people like human beings and be a solution provider. What I call a new style isn't even a new style. It's just the way that people should have been treated the entire time. But we let the main thing stop being the main thing. And I assure you, if you, you, if you are struggling at your store, you're not like, you're not alone. You're like many others out there who are really trying to do their best to figure it out. These people might not even want to go and buy lunch. They want to bring their lunch every day. They're trying to hold on to everything that they got, hoping that it turns around. And the one thing I will tell you is this, is if we hope in one hand and we, you know what, in the other one, we know which one fills up first. When you make an investment into yourself, it's bigger than just you or I. If you're somebody with children, the information from within this program will help your child be able to think more positive. Imagine allowing your child or your spouse to listen to the 100 success tips that comes along within this program. Imagine you listening to it every day. If you have children, allowing you teaching them how to be able to sell their skills, which is why so many people with degrees are struggling and not getting positions in the arena because they thought the piece of paper was everything. No, even that too has to be sold. And so this is just bigger than this program on how to just buy a vehicle. That $97 investment, that fraction of what it actually costs, which is $997, that $97, that one-time investment, can bring you a lifetime of benefit. And imagine what it could do for the people you love. If you have a spouse that's struggling to find work, do you know how, how, back, how heartbreaking that can be? And how that can break somebody's confidence? And how listening to that 100 success to, to give them that boost they need to get out there. But not only that, even leveraging some of the tools from the Dominated to Dealership program, learning how to be a solution provider, learning how to build value, learning how to create a positive experience. You see, it's bigger than just moving a unit with everything here. Yes, can it help turn you into one of the best automotive salespeople at your dealership? Absolutely. But it can also help turn you into one of the best people in your dealership. And at the end of the day, people do business with those who they like and they trust. And that's what you get from within this. And so again, if you know you've been struggling, and I know times can be hard, but if it's hard today, imagine how hard it's going to be five years from now. And there's no such thing as a perfect day on the calendar. There's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But there's no someday. And on any time piece I've ever seen, it doesn't say perfect time. And there's going to be a little bit of discomfort when you're going through growth. But at the end of the day, if what you wanted was the opportunity to give yourself a fighting chance to take advantage of your opportunity while you're there at that store, you have it tonight. You know me, you've been watching my videos, you know the information that I share works and it's real. And if you think you're getting something from that, 
Imagine what's going to happen when you and I are building together on a strategy call. You're going through the programs. You're able to listen to them over and over. You've got the word tracks. And a lot of people don't realize the value of a word track. They say, oh, I don't like word tracks or scripts because it makes me sound scripted. But when you think about it, whatever your favorite movie is, the reason it's your favorite movie because it made us laugh or it made us cry, made us happy or made us sad. It stimulated us emotionally. But guess what those actors got before they got that, that, that before they started shooting the movie? They got a script. And yet what they did with that script, they took those words, they memorized it, they internalized it. And when they projected it back out, they personalized it. It's no different than riding in a car and a song comes on you haven't heard since high school. And you just singing it, you jamming it, boy, you're not even thinking about it. Matter of fact, you singing it better than the artist. Do you know what that is? You're reciting scripted words that were written by someone else. But yet you know them so well that you could be driving the vehicle with one knee, eating a sandwich in the left, and singing the song at the same time without breaking stride. Why? Because you memorized them. You internalized them. And when you projected it, you personalized them. And that's what this is about. Or people say, oh, scripts, they don't allow me to go off or deviate. No, it's the opposite. When you have your word track down, it doesn't matter what anybody else does because you know how to get yourself back on track. As opposed to when you don't know what to say and they throw a Hail Mary in there or a haymaker and it knocks us right off our square. At the end of the day, you have to be prepared. And I tell people, amateurs don't get make money. Amateurs don't. Pros make money. So if you want to get paid like an amateur, act like one. You want to get paid like a pro, act like one. Even Michael Jordan had a shooting coach, even though he could have beat him in one-on-one. Tiger Woods has a golf coach, even though he could beat him in an 18-hole round. Mike Tyson had a trainer, a boxing coach, even though he could have knocked him out. And the reason for that, the reason why we're working with mentors and working with coaches, because it's hard to see ourselves in the picture while we're in the frame. And so within all of these programs, I'm literally taking the data from out of my brain, compressing it sharing it to you and want to sit down with you and let's have a conversation about how to set you on the track to just blow the doors off of it at your dealership and really make things happen you have to excuse my dogs are going off but really make things happen click the link go on over for a fraction for 97 dollars do y'all realize that that is less than $3 a day? That's less than a Red Bull a day. Some people drink two and three Red Bulls a day. That is literally less than one Red Bull a day for one month. will bring you information that could generate tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars for you for a lifetime. All it takes is a, is a click. I can't hurt you, I can only help you. So help me help you. And there's a 90 day money back guarantee on it. So tomorrow when you go into your dealership, you know the definition of insanity. It's doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. And if you have a family like I did, if you have people that depend on you like I did and like I do, you owe it to them to do the best you can to be the best you can. And right now you have zero risk because I told you, I'll give you 90 days to check it out. And if you don't feel it helped you, you don't feel like it made you a better sales professional and brought you some money, I'll give you your money back. But to this day, I've had nobody do such a thing because people like you who are on this stream at this time of night, you're not that type of person that quits. You are that type of person that's willing to invest the time. That's why you're here. And that's why my gift to you is taking something that other people have spent $1,000 on and giving it to you for less than 100 It's just the only way. If I could give it all away just 1,000% free, I would. But if you want me to continue to give out good content and, and I don't do the whole Patreon and I don't ask people for PayPal donations, for what? The information I give out is from the heart, and you know that. You know me. But this is bigger than just free information. What you get, you getting a whole enchilada. 
and to make sure you have a vested interest in it. You have some skin in the game in it. That's why I'm just giving it to you for a fraction. So I know that when I spend my time on our strategy calls, when we spend our time together in our future mastermind meetings, I know I'm dealing with somebody that's serious and that wants to win, that's, that's going to stay in the game and not quit. That's the only reason. So click the link. Go on over. You get the email from me tomorrow from my assistant setting up what time is going to be best and the best contact number. And you and I are going to put it together. You know, this is a journey. This is not a wham, bam, thank you, man. This is us rocking this thing out. So click the link and go on over and get started today, right now, this morning. My objective is to work with at least 30 people. And so between now and I'll say, you know, probably tomorrow morning, the first 30 people that that, that download, that register, those are going to be the first 30 people I work with. To be able to give everybody my real time, I can only work with 30 people. That's it. And the only thing I know is right now, seven have already went over. So, you know, just being real with you, there's still 23 um, available spots. And what we just, I just started talking about the product stuff a couple minutes ago. So it may all be gone. The slots may be gone um, before we get done here. So if I was you, I wouldn't wait. You can always come back to the stream later. But even more important, as opposed to the stream, you get the real deal, the whole enchilada, you get started. All right. So let's go through. Um, Case Easter. Colin makes bag jokes. Hey, fam. Okay. The rock hard abs. I don't know. Wrong spot, man. It's not a help spot. Uh, Brian, buddy, ads are great. And uh, But I think my closing ratio, if I go up, okay. He thinks it's about abs. Colin makes bad jokes, says that he thinks he would close more deals if he had abs. I say, okay. Tate Whistle. What's up, Tate? My biggest issue is overcoming distance, true car quotes and trying to get a response via email. Okay, now let's talk about the email response. Um, the question is, do the emails that you send out warrant a response? You know what I mean? Are they just heavily informative or do they have a spot in it where they actually ask for the individual to reply? And see, as human beings, we do, you know, we'll do almost anything that somebody asks us to if there's benefit in it for us. And so, if you want people to reply, you want to make sure that you give them a good reason to reply. OK, so you want to let them know. So let's let's go through it. Um, you talked about true car quotes. Now, you want to make sure you fully understand what true car is. And some people in certain areas use true car. Some people in other areas use Kelly Blue Book. And let's talk about Kelly Blue Book real quick. You may already know this, but Kelly Blue Book is actually nothing more than just a website that drives traffic. Kelly Blue Book, that website is owned by Auto Trader. An auto trader buys and sells vehicles. Okay, so what what uh, what Kelly Blue Book would do is throw a number out there to somebody. They're going to the dealership saying, "This is what I want for my car." But if you ever go to Kelly Blue Book and you look at where it says, you know, get your quote, it only asks one question. It'll say, "What's the mileage?" And no, two questions. What's the mileage? And do you rate it poor, fair, good, great, perfect? So the person selects. Boom! It spits out a number. And then here they come. But on the same Kelly Blue Book site, right next to where it says get a quote, it says instant cash offers. So this lets you know what they would be willing to buy it for. And the way you handle that, especially with somebody that does KBB, they come in and they say, well, you know, I want more for my trade. Oh, really? Um, you know, why you say so? Well, I went on Kelly Blue Book and they told me here's what I should get. The way you can deal with that is listen. Hey, listen, what, deal with that is like this. Hey, ma'am, sir, I get it. As a matter of fact, I've had a number of people that came in here just like you that was doing some homework, which is awesome. And they went on Kelly Blue Book and Kelly Blue Book gave them a number that we should be willing to, to buy their vehicle for. OK, and uh, obviously you've done the same thing. So I know what Kelly Blue Book told you we should buy it for. But you may already know this, but Kelly Blue Book is actually owned by Auto Trader and Auto Trader buys and sells vehicles themselves. And so we know what they said we should buy it for, but let's see what Kelly Blue Book and Auto Trader will, will be, what we would be willing to buy yours for. And let's agree on one of three things. Number one, if we look on Kelly Blue Book's website and what they're willing to buy your vehicle for is higher than mine, I'll take you down there to pick up that check myself. Because the quicker you can go ahead and take care of that business, the quicker you can start enjoying this. One. Number two is if we look at what Kelly Blue Book is offering and 
we're only off, give or take a couple hundred bucks. I'm going to go to my manager and I'm going to fight for it. Number three is if we look at Kelly Blue Book and what they offer, and where, if what I'm offering is better than what they're offering, let's just agree that it's a good deal. Is that cool? And you will be amazed what happens. When you go to Kelly Blue Book, you turn that web, that, that doggone computer screen around. You go to the Kelly Blue Book site, you click where it says Insta Cash Offers. You will be blown back by the number of questions Kelly Blue Book asks these people. Oh my God, do you have maintenance records? Did you smoke? Do the tires match? Nicks and dents, uh, previous owners, carbon. It has so many questions that this individual didn't even think about. Because when they initially did it, all it said is mileage and opinionated quality of the vehicle. And then they sent a customer into a dealership to fight over that fictitious number. But in reality, what they're willing to pay for is much less. Matter of fact, what I found in most cases is what the dealership is typically offering in that situation of a trade is actually better than what uh, but, uh, Auto Trader or Kelly Blue Book would have been willing to buy it for. It's amazing how often that is, but you, 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 you're unable to be afraid of. You can't be afraid of the Kelly Blue Books and the True Cars and all this stuff. Do the same thing on there. You, have, you cannot be afraid, okay? Um, overcoming distance. Distance is one of those things I think breaks down to qualifying because if a person is driving a substantial distance to come to your dealership and bypass all those dealerships of their own, there's a reason. And if you're not identifying what that reason is, they'll bullshit you and make you believe, oh, we were just all driving around. No, you weren't. Who just drives two hours just for the sake of it to do nothing? Some may, most don't. There's a reason why you're here, okay? And it's on us to find that out, Tate. We have to. But as far as the email, again, it goes back to inside that program are the email templates you need that trigger a response. It's the telephone prospecting talk out that triggers an appointment, okay? It's the voicemail that triggers a response. All of these things are available to you. A one-time investment can bring you a lifetime of benefit. Uh, Eric Garcia, why are people so blind how important sales is a higher skill? Amen, Eric, and you're right. But you know what though? Let's keep that our little secret. If they keep thinking that, you and I will continue to capitalize on it. But no. In truth, and here's one kicker, one bigger than that. You know what, man? Sales is something we can't escape. And let me prove it to you. When I ask a group of people, I say, how many people got 10 years or more sales experience? Some will raise their hand. Five years or more, some will raise their hand. One year or more. And I'm going to share with them what I share with you, and that is every intelligent group of people I've ever shared this with have all told me after they heard it, they never you know, thought about it the same. As a matter of fact, those of you who are on here right now, the next time somebody ever asks you how many years of experience, sales experience you have, you should answer it different. And here's why. It's because when you were born, I was born, my parents, your parents, grandparents, every human being that's ever been blessed on this planet was born. We were all born into sales. We can't escape it. And I'll prove it to you. When a baby cries, it's crying to be picked up, fed, or have a diaper change. That's a sales call. Every relationship that you've ever been in, you weren't the only person that thought they were attractive. You were one of many. But yet you sold yourself and you presented yourself in a way that that person said, I want to be in a relationship with them. I want to marry them. I like to have kids with them. At any previous place of employment, you were not the only candidate. You were one of hundreds, if not thousands. But yet you sold your skills and presented yourself in a way that the business, the company said, we get the highest rate of return on our investment with them. Do you realize that even sitting in a room by ourselves doing nothing, we have actually sold ourselves on the fact that it's better for us to sit here and do nothing than it is to be productive. So sales is something that we are unable to escape, escape at all. And the quicker we grasp that, it is what we, unless every time you open your mouth, you want people to believe you're a liar, you're always selling a perspective, a point of view, or an opinion. Think about when you were a kid and your mom and your dad didn't want you to do, it, do somewhere, do something or go somewhere, but you were able to convince them. That was a sale. Imagine you going to lunch with somebody and say, man, they say, let's go to Burger King. You say, no, let's go to Five Guys. They got way better burgers and you get more fries. That was a sale. It all is. Just getting up in the morning, jumping on this live stream 
was a sale because there's so many other things you could be doing. So many other things, but you're here right now. That was a sale. And so, you know, next time somebody asks you how many years of sales experience you got, however, whatever age you are, that's what you got. But again, it just amazes me because the fact that you're here says so much about you. And I know that you're somebody that have given the opportunity. You will grind it out. Take advantage of the fact that the program that is $997 is available for $97. With hours and hours of those training videos I spoke about on how to drive, drive Facebook leads, those 10 videos, three, two hours, three hours of audio, the dominated the dealership, five-part audio program, the sales training manual, over 40 word tracks, um, the, the prospect talk out, the email talk outs, all of these things, the 100 success tips, the 10 hours of video. I mean, I can just go on and on and on and on. The dominate YouTube, the online traffic surge, video program, the 30 minute session with you and I, where we strategize and we take the information from the program, we put together a plan and answer the questions for you and we watch you build and grow. It's available to you tonight. So click the link in that description, man. Let's work together. Let's put some hustle behind that muscle. Talk is cheap. Talk is cheap. Walk it like you talk. I'm here for you. All right. Right, Eric. Sales is high. Income, the highest. The highest. We got is 5946. 1 a.m. in New York. 116 in NYC. Says a lot about you. Says a lot about you. Smooth. Oh, Central Time. 118. I feel you is. Tate, thanks. <laughs> Man, come on with some questions, y'all. I know it's late. But uh, if I'm still up, I put, I'm going to put this link out there again. Uh, if I earn an hourly wage. <laughs> It is 59.46 said if I heard the hourly way, I could be sleeping right now. I feel you. But you know what, man? At the end of the day, bosses, we do what we got to do. It's three or four. And you know why I enjoy this hour? Because I know there's somebody out there that likes the same things I like. And there's a house that I'm going to buy soon. Okay. There's a vacation that I'm going. That I like vacations all the time. But there's places that I'm going. And I know that the space is limited and there's only certain people that are going to get to go. And so I know the other people that are hoping to go while they're sleeping, I'm up interacting with my folks, with my friends, you know, hanging out and sharing as much information as I possibly can to give to you, to just build and be effective and successful. Okay. But, um, you know, don't want to hold everybody too long, but make sure, man, you rewatch this video and everything you heard in this video and so much more in depth is included in the How to Drive Facebook Leads um, program. Um, 10 hours, 10 hours of video, th three hours of audio. Uh, that's included. Sales online for $997, but it's available to you for a fraction of the cost for $97. But also included, you can dominate at the dealership over five hours of audio and sales training video, taking you through the complete road to the sale, not just what to do and what to say, but why, the psychology behind it. The sales training manual, um, how to overcome the objections, over 40 word tracks, okay? Um, the online traffic surge, uh, you also, that's three hours of video. You also get the 100 success tips, okay? And, and also to me, my favorite, is the, the strategy session with you and I. So once you download, you'll get an email tomorrow asking for the best contact number and what's the best time you'd like for me to reach out for you and I to talk some and build a little bit. Um, do I like, do you like Zig Ziglar books? Plus I'm 20, I got the dropout and actually taking a chance getting to the hardware process. I know talking to you, but know what I mean? That's right, at the end of the day, Sales think, people think sales is about persuading and it's not. It's about identifying the amplitude of the need, being a solution provider. That's what it's about. It's, you can, like Zig Ziglar said best, you can have anything in the world you want if you're helping up other people get what they want. See, if you want a new house, helping up people that uh, buy the vehicle they want. If you want a new vehicle, helping up people buy the vehicle you want, they want. If you want a new boat, helping up people buy the vehicle that they want. If you want to buy, eat in a nice restaurant, 
help enough people buy the vehicle they want. So in other words, you can have anything in the world you want if you're helping up other people have what they want. That's what you call being selfless. That's selfless. Selfless. All right. So make sure you click the link in the in the description. Go on over. $97 tonight. It includes the strategy one-on-one -on -one session with you and I within the next 48 hours. So go ahead, download. You'll have access to your materials right away. Make sure you have a zip file opener because it's a it's hours and hours of information compressed in the zip files. So you want to make sure. You got your zip file opener, which is free from the Play Store. Go ahead, download it. You'll get the email tomorrow, getting the best contact number, setting up the time. And you and I will definitely get together and put some hustle behind that muscle. Okay. Um, other than that, does anybody else have any questions or, or, or anything that they want to share before I get ready to close it on up at all? All right, y'all, do me a favor, hit that like button. Oh, what I need is course teaching, how accurately. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I totally get that is 5946, and I will share this with you. I highly recommend you check out the Dominate at the dealership because people that have been in the business for 20 years, they told me when I were initially, when I was brought into the conference to speak, they were sitting there because they were some older guys. They weren't used to going on YouTube when I say no of us. But they're expecting just another lame person to get up there running their mouth. It didn't happen. Then one of them actually purchased the program. And this guy is not a reader, but he said that it actually helped teach him everything he needed to know where he actually does make over $100,000 a year. It was the thing that the management was either quote unquote too busy or just unwilling to show. And he got it from this. Not to mention the training videos with it. So it's all about that. And I will get on to teaching about the uh, the money, Vincent. Every dealership is different. And so some people, you know, as far as their back end percentage is different. Um, the way their desk, their manager's desk deals can be different. The one thing that doesn't matter is consistent is your process and your willingness to help people. That's it. All right. Um, Everyone in dealership teaches sales and never talk about the money. Ooh, well, I think that I don't, I'm not sure how long you've been following me, but um, I talk about the money, but here's the kicker about the money. One, if you're talking about making the money, if you chase just the money, you'll always be broken. You won't have shit. Okay. Because you have to identify a passion that's bigger than the money, because guess what? How many times do you ever work with a customer and it might just be a mini deal? Okay. That's just the real of it, you know. Um, sometimes it is bigger than that. So money is important and you make the money. But this is why the people that I work with, that I train, when these dealerships bring me in from the results, their people actually hold more gross than they have before. They've been staying working there longer and earning more money. You know why? Because product knowledge to me is overrated. It's important, but people knowledge is everything. Because if you tell somebody that the vehicle comes with a rear camera, and it doesn't even say, you know what, folks, please forgive me. I, I thought this, this particular option came with a rear camera. Um, I know that's important to you. We do have this option over here that does have it. Unfortunately, I made a mistake here. And again, please forgive me. But let me show you the rear camera in this option. They'll forgive you for that. But make somebody feel rude and unappreciated and like they're wasting your time. They'll never forgive you for that. And that's what we missed the mark on. We got people that know everything about the vehicle from the front end to the rear end, but can't help somebody buy one to save their life. Okay? Because at the end of the day, the person don't need to know everything. They just want to know what's important to them. Okay? Um, and I'm starting to get sleepy on here. So uh, I'm about to get ready to chime out. Y I hope that helped. I really just wanted to get in and kick it with y'all. Like I said, I was on the road. I traveled so much. Um, I'm in town this week. I'm actually sitting here. In my living room, uh, last night I had the doors open to the lake behind the house, but um, I kind of got in trouble because all of the mosquitoes that I let in, because I'm an outside person. I love just having the doors open, man, really. You know, I have my grandson on, but uh, other than that, any other questions that you have, you can submit them through the chat. I will make sure I get back to you. But other than that, click that link in the description. Uh, right now we are at... Oh, 17. We got 17 people that have registered right now. 
There's 13 slots available. So go ahead over, take advantage of it. It's only a fraction for a 10. For $97, you get access to the whole $1,000 program, not to mention all of the bonuses. And when you go over to the site, it has everything listed for you right there. So not just me telling you here and then you go over there and you don't know what you're getting. Everything is listed out. And remember, you get 90 days, 90 days to check it out. And if you don't feel like it helped you and it helped you make more money, by all means, I'll give you every dime But All right. Hey, you're welcome, Eric. Um, but other than that, you guys, I'm getting ready to go um, over and out. Get ready. Start a new day early in the morning. Be back up at 5. Um, got a few conference calls. I'll be back on the road this weekend. Um, and uh, I look forward to seeing you at the dealership. Remember, click the link. Go on over. Get started. Let you and I put that strategy set session together. I look forward to it. All right. We out.